Welcome back. Previously, we made it through the wine cellar. Today, I don't last very long before I get compulsive about regenerating my hit points. I could go through the menu like I just did, or I can hit uh, L2 and bring up the quick menu. Saves a little bit of time. Normally I don't do it, but uh, this time I decided to uh, save you guys some time. Uh, didn't regenerate uh, the full thing, and I have green pants. Hopping mad about that, but uh, I'll just uh, let it go. The uh, hit point regeneration was enough to tip it to uh, to blue for the legs, so now that I have 250 hit points, I'll go through. That uh, thudding means one of two things, either an earthquake or a giant monster. Our uh, first official boss, or a titan in the uh, game's definition. The Minotaur. Now, uh, an alternative option is a crossbow, but with that mace, there's really no uh, safe spot, so... He's resistant to piercing anyway, so I'm going to use an edged weapon and uh, go for the head, even though it's kind of a hard, uh, hard accuracy hit. But it doesn't stop it. You can get two attacks for each of his one. And uh, this is probably going to be a recurring incident in uh, my playthrough is being overly cautious. Because he dies now. Well, I would have cured anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. And we get our uh, first boss clear screen. Uh, arbitrary points like whose line, map completion which is kind of important, arbitrary title that means nothing, and the next bane of my existence unwanted hit point bonuses. We get some new uh, stuff. Key item to unlock the door that uh, Sackheim and Goodwin were trying to do. Uh, and two Grimoire spell books. Uh, they are in either French or Latin. Guerrere is French for cure and uh, Debile is French for blemish I believe. You use it from the item screen, It uh, you cast it, and then you memorize it. Unfortunately, I still have Hulk hands, but uh, I'll deal with that later. Upgraded shield, uh, more risk reducers, and uh, status ailment recuratives. Just a minor magic boost uh, to defense, and strangely enough, the, uh, despite what I thought, wood actually has a defense against fire. I thought that it had a huge penalty against it. With uh, using the spellbook, the uh, shaman art is now available on the, quick, the short quick menu or just regular spell menu. Nice to see our nemesis uh, cheering us on. To a nice slow clap. And still being a big enough jerk to just troll us. Again with the fairy tales.
And we're back to the moon. With an Ashley from a happier time, little mini Ashley and his wife, who happens to be wearing the necklace that he's wearing right now. There are no bets on how this is going to end. The nice thing about this is that uh, with the mouths animated, you can actually tell that there's something going on, but you can't hear it or see it. Obviously, this is a traumatizing event, and well, it's kind of being forcibly removed from Ashley at the time, but he still has a subconscious fighting it. Uh, there's flashes, still resistance of uh, of this memory. Now Sydney has a uh, has a weak point to uh, leverage against Ashley. And Sydney's not happy with just one weakness, now he's really got uh, Ashley on the ropes with another trick. I'm letting the text just stay on this for a little bit, just to pan the camera around Sydney. He's, he's loving this shit, so you may as well bask in his smugness. A little entomology lesson, heart is a, a stag or, or a male deer. And interesting that Sydney isn't actually attacking or hurting Ashley, his goal is just to just to bait him and be a jerk. And true to his promise, uh, he's gotten some new abilities unlocked. We now have access to our bread and butter battle abilities. They uh, give three of each to begin with. Heavy shot does some damage. Uh, gain life gains a little back. I'm putting heavy shot to uh, the attack button because that's why I like it and some defensive things to mitigate damage or throw a little bit back at the enemy. And Harden left us a little gift, surprising he was able to actually carry both uh, Merlos and that thing into here. It's a dummy. Does two things. Well, three things technically, but it trains two. The first, you can practice chain abilities on it. Right now my primary goal is to get uh, 20 to unlock the next one. Secondary goal is to get up to 30 in a row because of reasons. You can see that uh, it's good to build a chain because if you're doing no damage to begin with, later on in the chain you start uh, getting just incrementally stronger one point at a time. But the downside is that after you get a higher than a combo of eight, risk just skyrockets. I decided to use the uh, other Grimoire on this, knowing that it's useless, but I just wanted to get it into my spell spell list right now. The other thing that uh, the training dubbies teach is uh, 
boosting affinity and class bonuses. The uh, downside, though, is the two the two classes or affinities below the thing that it's teaching you can uh, take a debuff. So, as this being a human dummy, it uh, frequently lowers the beast class affinity and occasionally the undead. Now that I've got uh, down to zero for next, I need to kill something to unlock it. The bats have respawned, so they get to uh, help me reach my next level. I choose Mind Assault for really one reason. Uh, even though Temper is probably the more beneficial ability for actual use. The, uh, as you can see when doing chains, it has a uh, weird attack animation. They lunge forward, jiggle your blade, and then pull back. Whereas uh, that and Heavy Shot are nice fluid forward and back slashes. So if when attempting to do the 30 in a row chain, it just flows a little bit better. So I'm just going to go through this again and get uh, unlock the next chain ability. I believe around 15 or maybe 18 the the window narrows and I think it shifts slightly so that's why there's a little bit of difficulty there. And there's nothing nothing bad from uh, just wailing at it with a hundred risk. Obviously it won't go any higher against a moving living attacking target. This is a horrible idea though. Now I'm just going to do a little demonstration. Uh, unarmed risk uh, drops very rapidly. Uh, two risk per second. If magic points were down you'd find out that they regenerate about one per second and uh, hit points slower at uh, one hit point every two seconds. However, when you have your weapon drawn, risk uh, goes down to uh, one risk every uh, two seconds, and hit points go to uh, one every four seconds. So you really don't want to uh, let risk get too high in a combat situation, otherwise you're going to do a lot of damage. I should actually try some of these status chain abilities, but one thing being uh, paranoid about uh, is if anything suffers to it, it's probably going to die anyway, so uh, here's a mistake. I should have panned the camera around so I could actually see see the attack so I could time it better. But they still die in two hits, so it's not that big of a deal. more enemies and even without a critical hit now with chain abilities they're going to die in one attack anyway if 
for some reason these guys are alert, but they don't really seem to want to attack. They have some sense of pre self preservation. And one more button command I forgot to mention. Hitting select zooms in and out the camera. I prefer zoomed out, so I uh, did it there. Disproportionate uh, reprisals. So fun. <laughs> and if you notice, uh, the mini map only shows the uh, adjacent rooms. There's a uh, another map in the uh, menu that shows the whole thing. They also have the, uh, the room titles that I've been adding in post rather than just describing them uh, and stopping every five seconds to say this is this room and that's that room. Because they are uh, fairly creative and uh, Nice to see. I was hoping that there was still the wolf, so I could uh, lure it into that trap, but uh, no such luck. I'll have to show uh, that those traps are uh, an equal opportunity destroyer at another time. I forgot to mention er uh, earlier that while Vagrant Story was uh, nice to have that quick menu. It wasn't the first game that I know of. Uh, Saga Frontier 2 actually had one as well, but uh, while it had the ability to use the four shoulder buttons without uh, impacting the game itself, this one didn't have that luxury, so it had to uh, have one button and then a second button put on. Uh, and now that we have some boss fight, uh, a plot, and a lot of game mechanic demonstrations, I'm just going to draw my weapon at the chest, like I said I was going to before, and uh, demonstrate the storage uh, mechanic and also the uh, disassembly mechanic, and uh, lead with the save after that, which was put in place, I guess, to prevent item duplication glitches or something like Final Fantasy IV. You just double select an item, select a store, and uh, confirm once you're done. After that, it's uh, the same 20 second long save screen, so I'll leave you with that. See you again when we finish off the wine cellar.